does your lighting look like this all washed out and stuff there's a couple simple steps to change your lighting from looking like this to looking something like this so basically i'm going to walk through some simple steps you can take and some cheap things you can buy to change your lighting and make your quality of your videos really good whether you're filming on an iphone or a camera like this your videos will come out way better if you focus on lighting first and then quality. Hello everyone, my name is Abel Tefera and I make videos about filmmaking, videography, and video editing here on YouTube. This video focuses on lighting and today I'm going to highlight some products and some things you can do with your camera to make your lighting overall look much better. So the first tip I want to talk about is shooting at the right ISO. ISO introduces grain into your shot. So you're going to look all fuzzy and it's not going to look very clear and crispy like you want it. Right now I'm filming at ISO 400. On my camera the native ISO or the lowest ISO it can shoot at is ISO 200. But for this shot to get the proper exposure I'm shooting at ISO 400. Let me give you an example of what it would look like if I was shooting at a much higher ISO which would introduce that grain that I was talking about. As you can see now I had to turn my light down a little bit because as you increase your ISO you're also increasing the brightness of your shot but my skin isn't as clear and the background looks a lot more fuzzy which is not what we want so let's go back to how we had it before. The next thing I want to talk about is getting a good key light. Getting a good light does not require spending a lot of money. Right now I'm filming on this ring light and I'm going to switch over to my phone to show you what it looks like. So this is my camera setup and the light is placed at a nice angle here so that my face has a nice shadow on it and if I move the, cam the light front of the camera you're going to notice that it makes the image look really flat and we don't want that kind of a look. The last thing I want to talk about are these LED lights that you see in the background. They add ambience to the shot and overall bring in the punchiness of the color. So if I turn off these lights, Alexa turn off the LED lights you're gonna notice that it's just me and then the background is all blurry and black and it makes me look very one-dimensional these lights go for pretty cheap on Amazon you can get like 50 feet for $30 or less and they really add a lot of color to the shot and I definitely recommend them now I'm gonna switch to a shot with all the lights off so here we are back at the starting shot the key light is off and the LED lights are off and as you can see it's very dark and the shot doesn't look very good I hope these tips were helpful and thank you so much for watching.